This is Fish Creek. I'm standing here in Fish Creek Provincial Park on my 700th caching expedition. Up there is the train tracks. That's how I got here. There's like nobody here. I think it's because it's raining. I really like it down here. It's pretty far from my house and hard to get to, but I think it's worth it. I found a worm trying to get to safety. Look how he kind of flips his head back and forth before he decides to go on. He's always checking to see if there's grass on either side, and then he finds there's not, so he decides to go straight on. I'm waiting here to make sure he gets to the other side of the path in safety. Here's a view of the creek from above. Here's the trail I'm following. That's Cedar Bray, I think. And those are the hills. So I just walked from that, this hill over here. I walked along this ridge and came around, only to find that now I can't get down because there's a fence in the way. So where I want to be is in those woods. I have to go all the way back and around and find another trail that goes to the woods unless I want to like cut cross country, which I don't really want to do because the grass is very wet and I'm afraid I would slip and fall. Anyway, it's frustrating, but what can you do? Imagine living in one of these houses and you just came out the gate there and like this was your backyard. I guess for you it's sort of like that anyway, but I'm always amazed. When I was little, I always thought these signs said, violators will be persecuted. Oh my goodness. I just was going in the woods to find a cache and, and there's a deer like right there. Can't see it now. I'm not really sure what to do now. I need to go back in there to get the cash. But I'm kind of worried because the deer's there. It looked like a female. There weren't any horns. I'm not sure if it's still calving season. You probably know this. I didn't see a fawn with her though. So maybe she won't be aggressive. And maybe now that I know, I can go back very slowly and quietly. No, actually maybe I should make noise. That's what you're supposed to do, right? You see, I've been living in the city for too long. I forgot how these things work. Anyway, I wish you were here with me now. This would be so cool. She's there. She's right there. I can see her. Can't with the camera if I zoom in. Can you see her now? She's moving her head now. She's there in the trees. I'm not sure what to do. Not sure what to do, man. I'm on the trail right now. See, I'm standing on this trail. But I need to go in there. I don't know what to do, man. There's two of them. Probably can't see too well. One of them's got its head down. He's eating. And the other one's got his head up. He's looking at me. The cache is like over there. I'm... Um, now they're eating. Now they're both eating. Maybe they've decided that I'm not a threat. Anyway, they're not going to come charging at me because all these trees are in the way. Maybe I'll just wait here a bit longer and see what they do. So I ended up being a wuss and not trying to go in for the cache. But I'm going to come back. I'm going to finish the rest of this expedition. And then I'm going to come back and see if they're gone. I feel kind of annoyed with myself for being so wussy and not knowing that you're probably not going to get hurt by the deer. But still, they're pretty big up close and they could kill you. And I don't want to get killed by a deer because that would just prove that my mother was right all along and I shouldn't be out so much by doing things by myself. 
I think I shouldn't have come up here. I think I need to go down and go a different way, but look at the creek. All those mud flats, I think, I think they're from the flood last spring. I don't know if that's community housing. So I'm down on the mud flats now. Climb down from up top. That's a trail that I almost went down, but then I decided not to. Um, I came here to see something interesting. The top layer is dirt, the bottom layer is rocks, and that white layer is ash from a volcano. The Mazama volcano. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, before people lived here. And the ash settled like a blanket. And that white line is what it is now. Apparently it is a hundred times more powerful eruption than Mount St. Helens. I just found this cache. I had quite the time getting to it. It's inside here. I'll show you. This whole area has been quite badly damaged by the flood. There's debris just everywhere, and all this water didn't used to be there. When I get back to the path, I'll show you what I had to do to get it. See, all these little streams and things didn't used to be here. So people have had to get creative. Maybe I better not video while I do this. This is Marshall Springs. It filters the water for a lot of South Calgary communities. All these birds are singing, but I don't know what they are. It's amazing how different a place can look once the sun comes out. Does it ever look like this in BC? Or is it just raining all the time? Geeses. Geeses. Moose. Mises. Mice. Mouse. I don't understand what's the point of that road. I didn't even think cars were allowed to come. I just climbed up from there. By the way, I couldn't find the deer guarded cache. Isn't that funny? Even when I went back and they were gone. Isn't that funny? 